In this video, we'll be exploring a relationship between the sides of a triangle and its angles. This relationship is known as the sine law, the sine rule or the law of sines. So let's start. <coughs> Consider we have a triangle. Okay. And uh, let me label them. A, B, C. And here's an important convention. Okay, it's often used in maths that the side opposite to angle A is it's a capital little. The side opposite to it, it's called small a. The side opposite to B is labeled as small b. And the side opposite to angle C is labeled as small c or lowercase c. Okay. And now we start off with a very interesting construction. So we construct this length perpendicular to BC. Okay. Let me call this uh, AB. So AD is perpendicular to BC. This is our construction. And now let us relate AD with C and angle B and B with angle C. Let, let's see how this works. So if we can uh, in this triangle A, B and D. So if we consider triangle A, B, D. So sine of this angle B will be A, D upon C. So why are we taking sine? Because if we, uh, we need a relation between A, D and C. So sine is the trigonometric function which relates A, D and C. From this we get that A, D is equal to C sine b okay and uh, we can do the same thing in this triangle adc so in triangle adc we find that sine c this one is equal to ad upon b opposite upon hypotenuse so we get ad equal to b sine c now using these two so ad is equal to c sine b which is equal to b sine c we can say that c sine b is equal to b sine c now it makes much more sense to uh, write the b's on one side and c's on the other side so we can say that b upon sine b capital b is equal to c the, the small one upon sine c okay and similarly we can do another construction like this and relate these two quant and relate these two sides okay and since this relation is valid for any two sides this is valid for a and B, B and C, C and A. From this, we can say that B by sin C equal to C by sin C, which is equal to A upon sin A. It basically says that you take the side, okay, it divided by the sine of the opposite angle, and this ratio remains constant in a triangle. And using this, you can find out the side lengths. Okay, if you if you are given a b and small a small b, you can find uh, the the sides and the uh, other angles as well. This relation is called sine rule. Now you may have noticed that in this triangle, in this case, I have taken an equilateral triangle. So does this work for obtuse angle triangles as well? Yes, it does. So let me start by considering an obtuse angle triangle. There you go. Let me label it in a similar fashion. So A, B, C. And the construction is the same. We make AD perpendicular to BC. Now, of course, it cannot lie on BC. But if we extend this, and 
then we are, we can we are, uh, will be able to make a line perpendicular to this thing so we are labeling it as ad in the like just like in our previous case and like how we proceeded with the acute angle case we'll we'll be relating ad with the sides and the sines of these angles so if this is a this is side is small a this side is small b this side is small c now in this triangle the big one a b d okay this one we can say that okay in triangle a b d we can say that a d will be equal to c sin b and in triangle this one a c d okay so if this angle is capital c this is pi minus capital c okay so in a c d we can say that a d is equal to b sin pi minus c okay and here we'll be using an important property of sine that sine pi minus theta is equal to sine theta so in this case theta is c using this we can say that ad is equal to b sin c okay and again equating these two equations we get that c sin b equal to b b sin c and just like we got in this case similarly we can say that b sin upon sin b equal to c upon sin c similarly we can do construction like this okay or like or we can extend this and extend this thing and then do a construction so we, we can say that b by sin b is equal to c by sin c equal to a by sin a so as you can see this relation holds for acute angle triangles as well as obtuse angle triangles now we have seen that okay it works if all the angles are lesser than 90 degrees it works if one angle is greater than 90 degree does it work if an angle is greater is equal to 90 degree does it work for a right angle triangle well yes it does so let me start by drawing a right angle triangle okay same nomenclature a c b now in this case this thing is 90 degrees okay sides are a b c now what is sin b okay so sin b is b upon c okay which means that c is equal to b upon sin b and what is sin a sin a is a a upon c okay opposite upon hypotenuse this implies that c is a upon sin a now using these two we can say that a upon sin a is equal to b upon sin b which is equal to c okay and c can be written as c upon 1 and in this case sin c is also equal to 1 because c is because c is pi by 2 so sin pi by 2 is 1 so in a right angle triangle this relation still holds that a upon sin a is equal to b upon sin b is equal to c upon sin c and in one of them one of the angles is 90 degrees 
So in this video, I've shown you the proof of sign law using by considering different cases. In, in my next video, we, I'll show you that I'll show you how this sign law applies to physics. Till then, stay tuned and as always, thanks for watching.